Did this stop? Did I stop it? Has it stopped? Because I actually end the stream and start the stream straight away. problem a site or a bot I have no idea I don't think it was the bot because he, if it was the bot you would have had um, the things on the side where I could kick it I think somebody tried to host me uh, and must have had a problem with his own connection because he kept uh, rebooting 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 so I had to stop and get back to it uh, that's as much as I can tell but I have no idea actually That's what I think he happened. It's okay. But nobody is still hospitando. So you're hosting me now. But nobody is hosting you. But nobody is hosting me. Yes. So I guess something happened with the guy that did that before. Because um, with you, it's completely fine now. I haven't touched anything. I just uh, restart the live. That's all I did. So we must have. Uh, must be a problem with him which if he was in a good uh, in a good fate sorry guys something happened thank you anyway for the thought uh, mr uh, divok snips anyway how are you banova You working tomorrow, so you will have to wake up early. I was dreaming of some new knife today and shopping for them. Did I show you my knives? Like the whole set? Yes, I work tomorrow. So, what knife did you dream? What's your dream knife? What's uh, what's the what's the, the the label? Let's say I haven't seen them. Oh, you haven't? I'll show you after. I got them here. I pull them all out. Unless you're going in a rush, and I'll uh, do them right now. I wanted a, f uh, a fillet knife. Oh, okay. I've seen a clip um, from Steve, a clip um, probably shown, oh, okay, fully Japanese. Um, I've seen a clip of um, the beef show ribs of uh, Chef Steve. I just want it, it was this big, man. And today I was at the market in the morning and they were miserable. Like they were small, miserable, Chef Maurizio is live. Extreme food, the Casariche. Ah, this just wake up, my stream labs. Beautiful. I 
I've shown primer eight chamfer knife now. Oh, okay. Eight inches, so 24 centimeter. Okay. I'll um, I'll get them soon. I'm gonna show you. So we're gonna put the pasta in here. We boiled the. Well, I don't think anybody. I'm gonna get them now. Good evening, everybody. Ciao a tutti, guys. Buongiorno, Steam Labs. Good morning, guys. Yeah, just woke up, Steam Labs. Yeah, I put everything in, man. Let's eat, man. I'm very starving today. Okay, let's get the knife. I will have to show you on here. Let's get the knife. Let's do the space for it. We are allowed to show knives. Yeah, they're not going to get mad at us because it's like we are uh, implying violence or anything like that. Yeah, I'm a chef. Yeah, They know I use the, the knives, right? Can you see them? Oh, you got everything uh, mixed matched. I have... Um, how do I do this? So, let's do this. Let's... Tagliere. Uh, oh, you don't see. No, not again, guys. He's doing it again. He's doing it again, guys. What's going on? Is this, this guy playing with me? I can't highlight it. I can't do anything to him. What can I do? Anyway, but Nova, if you're here, I'll show you the knives. chat, ma io la vedo la chat, io ti ho messo come moderatore, padre ma dopo, che si può fare qualcosa, vai! I haven't used them in ages. Mostly they're all the same. I missed some message here. Uh, we don't see anything in chat here. I know, because this guy keeps... Um, keeps um, doing whatever he's doing and it's uh, blocking me okay guys I'll tell you what I'll close it down and I'll start again one more time that's what we're gonna do start again start stream labs everything Chi Maurizio mo di fermo un attimo un secondo e faccio non muovo non muovo non vedo non vedo nessun errore a te a me invece si ma ti faccio vedere, guarda. Dove sei, dove sei, dove sei? Whatsapp. Uh, ecco qua. Vedi come fa? I'll stop, it was a joke. Oh, so it was a joke. Thank you, brother. You're just making my life harder, brother. Thanks for coming anyway. I appreciate it. So it was this guy here trying to host me in, on, on, in, on, in, on, in, on, in. You know, that's the way they like to troll. Thank you. Yeah, I think it's done now. Like, literally... I think he's fine now. Yellow card for you. <laughs> so I wonder if Badnova is still here or happened something. I 
I'm here. I think we can have a, we can go back to have a little chat now. Our friend uh, 91 uh, has done his game today. At least you should give me a follow now, just for all the things that you just did. At least. I'm just making a simple uh, pasta, really. Uh, thank you, brother. I appreciate now. Ciao, Chef Babs. How are you? I had a long day today. I've been catching up with friends, and I'm starving, and I'm making a little pasta here. And I was explaining Mr. 91 here. There is just some casariche pasta that I'm boiling. I boiled the, the steam uh, from the broccolini in it, so it gets some flavor. I'm going to add uh, the, the florets towards the end so they don't get fully cooked. And with these, with the onion, salt, pepper, and the hard side of the broccolini, I'm going to make the cream that then going to help uh, give some flavor to the actual pasta. So this is going to get blended soon. So this is going to get blended soon, which I'm going to do straight away. I was showing my knives to Badnova. So we got all sort of uh, filleting knife, uh, boning knife, uh, normal. Um, and then I have two fake ones that um, somebody sharped for me and they are very bad. Like literally they cut you and I'm not using them because they're very dangerous now. Like literally I hate to use them now because they're that sharp that it's scary. This is custom made. Every single knife has uh, the actual pocket. And this is it. The pasta is cooking. And this cost me a little bit of money, all these knives. I do like the leather roll. Thanks. I guess you don't like German knives with uh, German steel with. Uh, Japanese um, way of working them. I know, and to be honest, it's six years now, and uh, I sharpen them one time only. One time only. Back to work. Anyway, Badnova, I saw the picture. No, Badnova, uh, what's this called? Padre Madonna. I've seen um, the picture of your food um, and it looks awesome. I like Merluzzo Leda in Umido. garlic e solo un po' di merluzzo si sì, ma è bello, è umido, è saporito eh, anche se cuoce un poco troppo diventa un poco anche secco ma così no perché comunque ce l'ha a knife has to be has to do its job well if, uh, if it's German, Japanese or American I am fine with it it is a blend like it's uh, German steel but worked uh, but gem, uh, Japanese um, style of working
שבאבס מוסר פול אז ליפ אגן. But I'm ready to go to sleep. Why, chef? You haven't slept yet. Is it not like five, six o'clock in the morning where you are now? I've seen Chef Robin. I saw Chef Robin yesterday having trouble sleeping. Mamma mia. I saw Chef Robin. He's back. I was very surprised this morning. I mean, I haven't seen him in live. I've seen um, that he's been in live, you know? Yeah, he came back. I was surprised too. I guess it's a good thing. He can't stay away from us. 8 a.m. is East Costa, USA. Yeah, that's where he's from. So Chef Bubs is about to go to sleep, but Nova just wake up, I don't know what he's going to do. Padre Madonna, which is in Italy right now, is about to eat and then he will go, he will go out with a girlfriend. Me? I'm going to eat this plate of pasta, chat with a little bit with you guys for a little bit because like... After that, I've been all day with people, and now I'm going to go sleep, and I'm on my own. I'll probably have a chat for half an hour, if there's people around. Otherwise, I just go in bed, Netflix, and that's it. Another day tomorrow. Busy day for me tomorrow. I woke up at 5 a.m. and I drank a pot of coffee already. One full one, that's like about a, li a liter, isn't it? No, ho una bella giornata oggi. Padre Mario, sono uscito, sono andato al mercato, ho incontrato un po' di gente, ho parlato un po' con gli amici, uh, mi sono sentito con una ragazza, è venuta una ragazza qui, quella che poi verrà mercoledì. Che gli ho fatto capire di che si tratta, speriamo che accetta. Ok, so that's like an aglio olio e peperoncino. Anzi, ti sei dato da fare. Eh sì, eh, poi a mezzogiorno ho mangiato con, uh, con un amico che non vedevo da parecchio, l'avvocato, là. So, are you streaming tomorrow? Uh, Chef Babs, tomorrow for me will be my, la my only day off. I have a few things in the morning to be done. Then who knows? If streaming you mean like this, one hour just to have a plate of pasta and stuff, I might do that. Um, It's how I feel tomorrow. I don't think I will be able to because I have a few, few things to be done. But probably from Tuesday because Tuesday, Wednesday, um, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and soon the next week I'll try to make it every single day. Um, I'm not doing anything at home, so why not? So you drank 2.4 liter of water right now. Well, water, coffee, dirty water. It's 
since 5 a.m. You cook big portions. Yes, um, um, whatever I've always left over here, there's, you know, you know all the cakes I made yesterday, you know, all those eclairs, there was like 16 of them and then all the small ones, they're gone. I only eat two of them because as soon as I post them, all my friends, they all call me. Like, oh, what are you doing? I haven't heard you from a long time. And I know why. As soon as I put them on the, on the social, they all come back. But anyway, that's good. Anyway, this is probably my plate and something for tomorrow lunch. Trust me, they loved it. And you know what? They booked me for next week. Like, what are you going to do next week? Like, ah. So it's like getting funny now. Like, um, <laughs> not taking advantage, but like really looking forward. Like, they're planning on me. That's it, guys. Already done. Oh, chef. <laughs> Eclairs looked uh, great. And um, five cents, they tasted even better because I wasn't expecting that uh, using the, the instant coffee that somebody, another chef explained, explained me, suggested me. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting to get that flavor. I was quite happy with that. Like, literally happy, guys. I'm that starving that I'm not even thinking, tasting, salting, nah, nothing. I guess I'm here just for the company today. Like, there's not much cooking. I went to the market, I didn't buy anything. So I was saying I've been I've been playing, you know, I've been plan not planning planning for next week. Every single day I will have something to do, and I have two guests next week. I have two people coming to say hello to me tomorrow and spend time with me. We might cook together. Oh, I found the guanciale. Like, I literally had to get only whatever they left. That's all I got. That's all they had, and I took it all. I found it, man. Guanciale, finally. I found the guanciale. Yay! So, it does look good. Oh, chef. Uh, here, my brother, I appreciate it. Half kilo pasta is gone. Now we start work on the fish. Oh, so you already eat the first course, and now you're having the second one. Well done. Is everyone in South Bank City wearing the mask? Um, I've been to the market, South Melbourne market this morning. Um, surprisingly, everybody was, um, was wearing masks. Not only, um, there was the people were very, they were very mindful, like literally very mindful. But then I was on, um, on Facebook before and I saw Mr. Andrew give the news, another 354 cases today. And I'm wondering, what the hell is waiting for? Just shut down the whole country. Oh no. Shut down. Not the country, the whole, uh, whatever it's called, the whole Victoria. Shut down. Force us in, uh, in, in level four because it's getting ridiculous now. Like, too much, too many. Too much, too many. Nice. It's uh, it's so hard to find for me. I have I have to go to an hour to get it. Ah, the 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 guanciale. Yeah, man, I it took me literally four weeks to find it. Chef, nice, it's all to Is everyone very well? Uh, comunque, è un'eleganza nei piatti molto particolare. Non te lo dico per dirlo, ma penso veramente. Ma guarda che semplice. Come on, focus. It's 
just doing my head in. Oh, you can change the thing, can't you? Man, when I'm gonna get used to this thing? That's it. This should be working more. Focus, bitch! There you go. All right, chef. Going to go lie down for an hour or two before the kids wake. Have a good day off. Grazie, chef Bubs. Uh, man, I just want to hug you. I don't know exactly, but uh, stay strong, brother. Stay strong. Don't let them get you. You know, all those thoughts and worry. Please. Strong. Good job. You can save in a restaurant for sure. Uh, maybe with a tick, with a tweak, you know. Not like that. Too simple, too plain, too, too homely. Make sense what I'm saying? Comfort food, yes, homely, plain, it's good. I know, I know what you mean, but I don't know. I wouldn't serve these. I've not, it's, it depends on the restaurant, though. If we, if we're talking about a little restaurant, Mandrag, it's a far warm. If we're talking about a little restaurant, 20, 30 chairs, not much. Yes, 30, 35 chairs, yes. But I will actually start making my own pasta then. I will start making my own thing. The sauce, I will balance it out. I didn't even taste when I made it. Like, literally, I just say it went by head. But yes, it looks good, more or less. I won't use this pasta here. I'll probably use a ricette, more traditional. I will probably use uh, something spicy in it, like um, some, uh, some spicy sausage or that I will pre-cook before with some onion on the side and then I just add it in with the sauce. Happy for the vegans here. I'm going to brine and smoke corn on the cob today, just for the enjoyment, since the season here is optimal now. Okay, so it's corn season for you. Which, uh, what did I look? I was looking at uh, um, this dude on uh, this dude on um, on TikTok earlier, on. and he was doing he was doing one of those uh, how you call them? There was a name. <coughs> Excuse me. There was a name. Um, it's like he had this uh, this big massive pot full of water. And he put some season in it, uh, some cajun, some uh, some other stuff in it. And then, you know, the little crayfish, like he had a whole bag of crayfish. Uh, a boil, yeah, he was boiling all these crayfish and he had some crabs in it. And then lots of corns, some potatoes. And he left it there like for uh, for quite some time. And then he came back and this thing had like a little coal in there inside. So he left and there was only the stock there, and then he had all this food, uh, all these fish and stuff. And he put in these big trays, and they sat down around the table, and they were just eating fish like that. I never felt so jealous. Like, literally, I just wanted to be there, pulling those tails, eating all the meat out, and then get a little sweetness from the sweet corn that boiled up with everything. Like, literally, yeah, I wanted to be there. Cryfish, okay. Crawfish, okay, the little one. No, the crayfish, the big one. Uh, crawfish, okay, so maybe I spell uh, seafood boil in southern states. Yes, I think it was Texas, could be. I think so, not sure.
Guys, I'm, um, as I'm planning the week ahead, is there anything, anything that you can think of um, that you would like to see um, cooking in a traditional way? Um, just write down. I know it's not many people, only four of you at the moment in the chat, or five, six, whatever. If there's anything, guys, your best veggie meal. My best veggie meal. In a traditional way. Okay. Okay, then. Just tell me what you want, because, because tonight, no, it's not that challenging at all, because when you say veggie, you mean pasta that has no meat, right? Vegetable, pasta, or any dish in tradition, because as I said, in Italy, we love uh, whatever with vegetable, especially with, um, also with beans and uh, leg, uh, with um, what you call lentils and uh, cauliflower, whatever, man, we, we do it. I cook, I cook loads of meat. Un bel maialino nero casertano a pepe verde. A nice <laughs> black pig from caserta a green pepper. Yeah, okay. Legumes, yes, legumes. We do a lot of that in Italy. Like literally, uh, lunchtime, it's... Uh, that's what it is. Pasta, pea pasta, whatever, guys. Like they, they, there is a way of making everything. Our meal mostly vegetarian in uh, lunchtime. That's why we have a first course and a second course because when you go to the second course, that's when you get all the proteins. In Italy, Italians also cream veggie dishes. We do. We do. We can do. Mandrago, che ti sei mangiato oggi? What did you eat today, Mandrago? Let's taste, guys. Oh man. Still creamy. Oh, a little bit spicy. Beautiful. But Nova, what about the lamb shanks? Cacciatore style, traditional cacciatore style. No, I'm seeing your uh, smoked lasagna. So you cooked in the smoker. Pasta with the shell. What significa pasta with the shell? Ah, eggplants, a big, a big ingredient in Italy. Eggplants, yes. Eggplants, zucchini, pumpkin. We make a beautiful pumpkin risotto. Um, all the squash in general. Here also, we have the little squashes, but but the eggplant we love it fried. We love the eggplant fried. Buono risica zucca. A me piace, va capazzo. Io ci metto tra poche salsicce e un po' di noia in te. A loro sì che sa ragione. Che vongole. Ok, vongole si chiamano clams. C L A M S. Clams. I smoked the meat sauce, then assembled it, and then melted cheese over in the smoker. That must be the, the, the next level that I have to come in America to taste for. So you cook the meat. So it's like you, it's like you cook the actual ragu bolognese, whatever you want to call, into a smoker. So you meet all the base, you sweat down all the base, you put the thing, you put the tomato, anything, then you put over a tray, you cover it, and you put in the smoker. So the smoker actually did what a normal oven does. So you cooked it. Then you pull it out. You assemble the whole thing. And then you cooked in the oven, I believe. And then you gave, uh, put the cheese on top and finish off in the smoker again. So it gets another um, refresh of that thing. Not cover it. Let it take on the smoke flavor. Okay, so you actually left it open, all your uh, redu cooking, reducing, braising, let's say, into the smoker. 
Uh, did you not get the top? All black, or you kept steering? Eggplant is great with miso. Uh, we have, well, in the restaurant where I was working um, uh, across the road from here on uh, Duke of York, it's a pub on Flinders Lane. We had, um, we had this big eggplant, um, which we cut, salt, pepper, oil, miso, we mixed through, we grilled them, very, very high, so we get the color and a little bit of burnt charcoal -y kind of taste. But because we do them so thick, we, got, we do them very thick because we don't want to fall apart and stuff, then we put in the oven 180 for seven minutes to pull it out so that it's nice and soft and the miso um, is gone through. And I was, I was, uh, I know the Duke of York, it's just over here, and it's part of the, the Australian, Australian Venue and Co. where I was working for. I keep stirring, oh, so you keep stirring so it doesn't get very black on top. Okay, make it sorry. Melanzane is on, I'm, 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 okay, melanzane anche arrostite. Sottolio, buttonate fritte, a puvril, te scordate, te scordate a fungidil. I know the Duke of York. I keep stirring, keep stirring. And what about the bechamel? Did you use any bechamel whatsoever? Banova? You send me a picture on Discord. Money, guys. Money everywhere. Money. I sent you a picture on Discord. Yeah, I'll have a look now. I know the Duke of York. I like the Duke of York. I like the the rooftop man. I love the Duke, the, the the rooftop over there. Everyone, welcome, Banova 67. So you might think now, how do I find ah private? Holy moly! So you also use the, um, the Reginelle pasta, like the sheets with all the Reginelle on the side. And it's cool, the trays with the... So it doesn't look any, any dry at all. I was, ex I was expecting it to be very dark and stuff. But no, the Parmesan is perfectly done. Cheese is all melting around the tray. Actually, some of the parmesan go crispy on top. The pasta is fine; it's not dry, or you haven't, you don't have any burns bit, bit burned bits. So that means it's nice and moist. And what about the day after? And what about the day after? Wasn't it better? Bella Cadia. It's very good. The day after, the, 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 the next day is even tastier. Shall I do lasagna? Come on, guys, help me. So where are you? Uh, five cent. Give me a refund. Come on, tell me what you want. Tell me what you want me to cook. Padre Madonna, vai, choose something. Mandrago, choose something. Come on. Uh. Hai ragione, Elena, hai ragione. Sto mangiando come un maiale, sinceramente, specialmente oggi. An Italian eggplant dish. An Italian eggplant dish. It's even better after a day when all the flavors... Yes, that's what I'm saying. We always... Eat, um, an Italian dish traditional. Okay. Okay.
Okay. So let's do a norma slash parmigiana. But I have to make the ragu. No, una bella mille foglie. Okay. Mille foil. Vannova, I'm waiting for you. What do you want? Non ho comprato niente, Elene, perché quello che c'avevano al mercato non mi piaceva. Non era, non era, il pesce non era lucido, le branche erano, erano una mezza chiavica, non mi è piaciuto niente. Secondo me stanno buttando, cioè, no, stanno cercando di buttare fuori tutto quello che c'avevano, perché domani loro sono chiusi. Hai capito? Ci vado direttamente nella martedì mattina a fare la spesa, quando arriva la roba fresca per la settimana. I put some in the freezer to get it out and show you the layers and the sauce on this coat. I'll show you my lasagna after, because I have it, but I didn't smoke it. A questo punto voglio risotto con la zucca. Ok. Risotto, zucca. Ok. Do you eat sushi? If you do, Kenzan is the best, best in the city. Kenzan, I need to find out. Kenzan. I love sushi, but we're talking about sushi, sushi, right? An eggplant meal is fine. Come on, Bandova, request, request. It must be something in your head that you want to see that you saw somewhere. Come on, request. For some, for some reason, I see you and I want to make you the lamb shang. I don't know why. I got this thing with lamb shang and you. Kenzan. Let's see what is Kenzan. Kenzan. Japanese restaurant, Collins Street. Okay. Good reviews. Oh, they do the boats, the boat and stuff. Okay. Okay. As soon as we're back on normal life, I'll... Uh... Why don't you join me? Lam Shank. Lam Shank will be. I love some people coming as well. Like Wednesday, I think I have this Asian chick coming to see me. It's from Singapore, friend of mine, been here a long time. And then somebody else uh, towards the, the end of the week, maybe Friday, I get, uh, I get Martina here. Martina is beautiful, man. Italian lady, 30-something years old, good looking. But her brain, her mind, the way she talks, uh, works... Uh, uh, she's the manager of one of the restaurants where I worked for. She's brilliant, man. And she goes, uh, and she has a... Uh, Ba-boom. It's been there 40 years. Damn, man. Okay, then. Deal. Deal. This will be... Banova. Uh, five cents will be the first people I will meet off Twitch that they are in Melbourne. So don't be jealous. I'm building my community like you, Chef Steve. I wish we were all... Uh, what's the boom? Uh, the ba-boom. It's a kick. Gigi. <laughs> Anymore? Guys, I've got a week worth of cooking. So it's six days. I only have a normal parmigiana for the eggplant dishes. I go utterly... Very traditional on that. I have a mille foil with a puff pastry. I have risotto with zucca, uh, which is pumpkin risotto. And then I have lamb shank for ban nova. Ideas, ideas. I'm weird, guys. I'm actually weird. I wanted a plate of pasta. I wanted to eat something. And now the only thing I'm thinking of is the watermelon in the fridge. I don't know what's wrong with me, guys. It must be the, the, the week of the, the month for, for me as well.
Lam Shang sarebbe lo stinco di agnello. Shank è il, il taglio. Lam Shang è lo stinco di agnello. Grazie, grazie. Barnova, when's, um, when's the... Um, I forgot how you call it. Once the thing is happening with uh, with Chef Steve, that you all getting all together and roasting the pig. August 29. Anyway, tomorrow I'm going to the post office. I got the address from um, from Karina as well, so I'm I'm sending both of you in once. I'm gonna send one off in both of you. August 29. Plenty time. Meet up, he's stand on meet up. Meet up, he's stand on meet up. So it's like you meeting at his house? Do I have a favorite meal? Genovese, guys. That's what's my favorite. Genovese. My mother, as soon as I go back her home, she knows I go crazy for Genovese. Genovese is the simplest dish. You get the blade, you know, the cut, the blades, the, the beef blades. It has all the nerves and the fat in it. You chuck that, you cut that in, uh, you cut that in chunks. And then you just brown it. And then you take the meat off. And then you put loads of onion in there. You can even mix the white onion and the red onion. Lead on. Let cook until the onion are nearly becoming one cream. Add the meat in, keep cooking it, cooking it, cooking it, cooking it, cooking it, cooking it for two, three hours, guys. So that the onions are completely melted and it becomes like a sauce. And the meat, it, it just break apart and you see the fat and the rindle and the nerves and you see that. Okay, so that's the Genovese. Okay, now there's people put carrot in it, there's people only onion. I don't care. I like all white and then a lot of black pepper and pecorino on top. And my friend, you don't know what you're eating there. And by the way, I'm ordering my pasta machine. So I've been making pasta as well. And that's it, complete. After the pasta machine, I don't need anything else. I have a full on kitchen here. I have the best veal scalopini. What's the veal scalopini? Like, what, scalopini veal, it's the cut and then just uh, in the flour, in the butter and stuff. But uh, what was the taste? It was a uh, Valdostana with the sage, parmes, par, um, with the sage, the, 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 the cheese and uh, prosciutto, cotto, prosciutto crudo, uh, palm ham, or it was with marsala, or it was with lemon, or it was a champagne, which, uh, which scalopini? Just in butter, sage and butter. Okay, so kind of Valdostana. Simple, man. They get the... They get the, the, the cell, I don't know how you call them in, uh, in English, the top side, you know, and then they just cut it and then bang it and then it's just in out flour, but uh, simple. Yes, at least two kilo Genovese, at least two kilo on, of onion. I'm going to make it, man. I'm going to make it. And this week I have my friend Anna. She comes out from the keto, so she eats pasta and stuff again. So I'll have someone with me eating Discord, you said, right? I'm gonna find my lasagna, I'm gonna send it to you. How do I do that? How do I send a picture here? But how can I go and find it in an easy way rather than go to, through all the thousand pictures that I have? You can choose the album. Just for the session. Just a little, just a little no-name restaurant. 
Even my missus said it was the best she ever had. 15 years later, I still remember it. 15 years later. Must have been very good. All this time to cook these beautiful dishes and you eat them always cold. I know, I know. I, I don't know, man. I don't really find... I don't really... I'm thinking about the watermelon. C'ho l'anguria in frigorifero. E ce l'ho lì. Ma I'll do this, it'll be easier. So, Banova, this was my pizza truck this summer. That's a 1960 uh, Chevrolet with a massive uh, pizza oven at the back, a wooden fire pizza oven at the back, and he had a 6,000 cc engine, brand new from Corvette in there. This guy is a crazy motherfucker. He spent a lot of money in there. And I was making some serious pizzas there this summer. Like, look at this. Empty. Empty man. I had fun. And it was in open plan. And then bushfires, man. Bushfires and they shoot us down. How beautiful is that? Anyway, lasagna, lasagna, lasagna. I need to find lasagna, 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 lasagna. Am I missing any messages? No, yeah? Food makes memory. I agree, Banova. Food takes me a long time back. Especially when I do the... My mother's or my grandma food. Takes me long, long time back. Guys, this is my town. This is Napoli and this is the Vesuvius. Look at how beautiful is that. I miss home, guys. But I can't stay there. Literally five days after, I'm going crazy. Five days after, I go crazy. Guys, this is me, school time, when I was learning to be a chef. That was me. Is that near Pompeii? Yeah, Pompeii is at the back. Made pizza last night, topped with cheddar mozzarella, topped with ribs I smoked in the morning and some of the chef's seasoning. Yeah, so he has like a pre-packed bags of dry rub. That's interesting. He should get that ongoing, like um, selling out, you know, make sense? Like selling. Like selling his actual dry rub. Guys, that's what you eat when you go to Naples, yeah? That's what you eat. F 
fish, raw fish. No, he gave me the, the dry rope recipe. Those packs are for the sausage. Ah, that's for the sausage mix, that one I saw. But then uh, he has his recipe, okay. Like, we eat so much fish, and uh, here it looks very hard to find. That's what you eat when you're in Italy. You know what? I'm gonna have my take on fried chicken. Fried chicken. Fried chicken. Sweet potato mash. White gravy. Let's do a spicy white gravy. Spicy white gravy. That will be my take on uh, mussels. Yes, like I say. I do have uh, some uh, sausage seasoning from him to make my own sausage. So, Banova, hang on. So, you have a, a full shack at home with the actual big smoker, and you have like your little patio sort of garage with your own kitchen where you smoke all the thing. What is it? Like, are you are in the same business? And I never asked you what's your job. Okay, guys, don't be shocked, don't be shocked. Ragazzi, non vi mettete paura. This is me, last year. 176 kilos. 176 kilos, that's more of 320 pounds. Or stones, I don't know what's in stones, I have no idea. But that's 176 kilos me. Hello. That's me. And that's some of the cooking that I used to do when I was actually a chef. Focus. Focus. There you go. That's my take on ravioli. Incredible. You look good and healthier. I know, I need to keep losing, losing, but I'm eating again because I'm cooking. Guys, I love a good lamb rump. A good lamb rump, it's everything for me. I know, Banova, I know. But to lose that many, that much, uh, that much weight, I had to go and keep. Ah, that's my lasagna. I found it, Banova. I found the lasagna. That's my lasagna, sir. Focus. There you go. Now you can see. Yeah, perfect amount of everything in every single layer, and that was hot, yeah? Which kind of lasagna? With meatballs? No, 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 no. It's not our traditional one. Um, Padre Madonna. That's uh, that's a simple uh, bolognese and bechamel, like uh, like they do in north of Italy. When they say make ravioli. 
Yeah, Bolognese. No, I haven't done... Uh, but I will do. I will do our traditional one. That's when you feel at home. You know, we made those uh, sausage, uh, well, sausage, salami. Beautiful guys, I got so many pictures, so many memories, and they take you back a long time. I'm three years behind here. Three years behind. Look, for who never seen a kangaroo? Where's the kangaroos? Can you see them? Kangaroos. This is a kang that, that's this is a wallaby that is very bored, you can tell. How can you tell that it's very bored? Can you tell it's very bored? <laughs> Come on, focus. There you go. Can you tell he's very bored? <laughs> Mammoth sauce uh, was ground beef and sausage mix, about 70% beef and 30% pork. Yeah, that's what we do as well. That's what I do as well. 70% Beef and pork. And to be honest, if I have some um, some extra fat when we clean our when we clean our uh, what do you call them uh, in, in in America entrecot in in there sirloin in England porterhouse here um, New York New York strips something you call that in uh, so we have the the line the line of fat that goes on top of it. I use that as well. I put in the grinder so it gives extra fat. And I don't use any tomato. Ciao, Faisen. Good night. I'm sorry for today's stream. It doesn't feel like I'm cooking. I'm more like just chatting rather than cooking. I, I even don't feel like eating anymore. I don't know. It must be gone. Ground. It was like... Bye-bye, <laughs> guys. You know, that guy at the beginning put me off with those, uh, with all the problems as well, like trying to block me the channel. We were just about talking about mods and modems and people, and that happened. Yes, Mangalista is those pigs that I've seen somewhere, like I think it's someone's Discord. I think you posted it. Or you sent it to me, I don't remember, but I've seen what you mean. Those pigs, those, uh, yeah, that makes sense. And I've read, uh, like I, I did a little research, why they're called in that way, why they're so special, and I got a hint. It's like we in Italy where these guys are from, you know, uh, Padre Maronno and uh, there is Mandrago. Those people are friends um, 
that I met through the guy who's looking after my my uh, setup and stuff, um, um, Computer Insight, Oscar. And these two are his friends, and they also look after me, and when I'm struggling or anything, they're always there helping me as well. Like, I never met them in person, none of those threes. Um, but we have, a, like, a private little chat on Discord where we just uh, spend time together, nights especially, and day. who's playing games, who's playing things, so... Yes, when you can, of course, especially this time when you're awake, but usually when I stream, they're sleeping. So we're always there together. Um, and that's, uh, that's uh, that from, um, those people are from my actual town, like from my region in Italy. And there we have a, a, a little uh, pig, it's a black pig from Casella, Casettano. That is um, a special breed that we have there. Which has um, which has more like um, more like a wild boar kind of taste. The meat makes sense. Like it's more like wild boar, more like um, more like DP, and it has more like um, um, irony sort of flavor. I don't make sense when I say irony. You know when not bloody, but like when the blood has the iron taste, and that pig. Um, has such a such a taste because it's from Caserta, and that's what I say. It's like mocha hog, yes. Farm is five miles from me. The farm is five miles from you. Ah, the farm from the Mangalista. So you must know the people that that raise those uh, those uh, those pigs. You gotta get a discount on the list. You know, this pasta tomorrow lunch, one egg in, a little bit more parmesan, some breadcrumb, hop, no sticky pan, fry, lid on, make nice and nice color on it, color on the other side, it will be tasty as hell tomorrow. So you do a review on their recipes, so they actually, they're not just farm, like they also, what are you going to say, like um, they also make their own sausage and stuff like that, so you help them out. So Badnova, are you a trained chef? I, I know you said by hobbies and stuff, but to have the capacity to have a flavor you know, to balance flavors and tweak things, you must have um, experience, you know? Yes, on the flavor profile. That, that's what I'm saying. So you must be a trained chef or you've been doing this for a long time. You're a machinist by trade. Okay. But I love foods. Okay, so it's more than a hobby. It's more than a passion. It's... Um, Let's say second job if you could. I worked in kitchens. Okay. Dishwasher to cook. Same. Everybody. Me too, sir. Even though I have this, I had, uh, I made a, I have a diploma and I worked. Everybody has to start from the sink. To understand the, the, the importance of those guys washing up everything for you. Look how, how much I need to clean up. You know, so respect thing. You know, it's it's it's, it's to to build the respect for each and of you, because everybody's a, no one is important, but we need everybody. Make sense? Time to work. Me to support some bed on on the channel. Need to put some bet on a channel. Okay, go, go. Go to work for your uh, betting channel. Bravo. Thanks for the company, Padre Maronno. But worked as a machinist while you're doing this. Luis, uh, but no, I think... Um, not today, not tomorrow, <coughs> because it's his days off. But one of these days... Um, we should all make like a phone call, me, you, Chef Steve, just like a courtesy call on Discord, maybe a video call if he has time, just to have a chat. 
Grazie Padre Madò, vabbè, è, è educazione e poi veramente vi ringrazio, voglio perché comunque siete di conforto, state sempre alla mano, eh? cioè, io apprezzo queste cose, non è che a mezzo modo anche cazzo mica, no, no, nel senso io devo ringraziarvi, voglio. This is tasty. There I posted a P in your Discord. Oh, work on a piece of material. Non credo, Mandra. Non credo ci riuscirò mai. My Discord. What? General? Yes. Oh, you have a tornio. That's what we call tornio in Italy. Damn. Titanium. Titanium. Well, back in the day, sir, I used to work um, in a company, but now it would be easy, it would be very hard for me to explain. Um, there was like big hydraulic press, and we were making the panels you know, the soundproof panels that then they go inside uh, um, the engine compartment, whatever, of the big vans. And um, this big pressure, uh, this big thing, they used to press all the materials that we used to put in there. And then uh, some steam coming through and stuff. And I used to take those off and then, nothing to do with you, but it's a little bit mechanic there. Mandra, che hai mangiato oggi? I have a set of boring heads uh, from D'Andrea's in Italy about 12 Kenkos. Boring heads. I have a set of boring heads from D'Andrea in Italy. I need to Google it. I don't think I know what it is. Boring heads. Now. Oh. Solo pasta e vongolo, solo. For cutting perfect hole in the metal. D'Andrea. D'Andrea. Oh, I see what it is. Oh, so we do something well then. Italian. The best I've found. So like you own the, the actual uh, company, 
like uh, you don't work like it's uh, it's it's, it's uh, let's say family bonus but business so that's why you wake up that early every day or oh, you're just an employee I love what I do you must uh, you seem a very positive person I've met you I haven't had a phone call with you which um, as I said before I will uh, I would love to have a phone call on one of those uh, Discord uh, calls me, you, Steve. Uh, Ten minutes, just to break the ice and to get to know each other. Because um, I feel so positive about Steve. Like, I love him. I, I love the person that he is. To me, it uh, can be anything, but for what I see, I love him. I do. I love him. <sighs> no, I'm just an employee. I love what I do. Steve, I great, and I spent the day with him in Dark Sun, and I had a blast. Mad. Ah, Steve and I. Steve and I. Great. I spent the day with him in Dark Sun, and I had a blast. And I'm so jealous, you know. Like, uh, literally, I am so jealous. Like, I want to be that too. Because it must be very funny. It must be funny. And dark, I think dark, uh, we don't see much of dark, but I think dark is quite a character as well. I don't know if you mean when I'm, I think it's quite a funny character as well. Like, the, those two along, it's it's a good combination. I don't know if it makes sense what I'm trying to say. Like, I think those two, uh, it's good chemist for going out, like a laugh and a joke and... Playful people. Yes, that's what I meant. He is as funny as, but he just stand back. And one of the first streams, he was just behind. He was like coming behind Steve like this with the sausage. And I was laughing. I couldn't even test. I can even text because I had, uh, I had, uh, you know, I start not crying, but when I laugh uh, a lot, I, I start crying, and I couldn't actually see what I was typing. That is the secret guy. He's subtle. Yes, he is. I think he's also a very respectful person. And I don't know, maybe he streams towards the end, or because I wake up too late. I miss the actions. But I don't see them very busy. You know what I mean? I, I'm not saying they're not busy. I'm saying I miss the busy part of the stream. I think because the timing thing. When I wake up, it's like uh, when I wake up, it's... Uh, when I wake up, literally an hour late, they're shooting down. So it must be right towards the end. I never get to... Like the whole, you know, when he starts. Which is a shame. But I told you, the 29th of August will be one hell of a day that I will be jealous of. When they are busy, they are very fluid and they know what they're doing. Oh, so they... I get what you mean. Like the, the sort of people that don't even talk to each other. They they look at each other. They already know what to do. Like proper chefs. Like not much talking. They already know what, who's going to do what and when. That's a good one. Smooth is fast. And... Uh, not fumbling over each other and on, on each other and on the stress. Yes, I know what you mean. Um, luckily, uh, yeah, yes, I, I got it. Um, yes, I have. Um, I have been lucky. I had. Uh, I had. Um, I had a lot, uh, lots of um, teammates like this, where you don't even have to speak to them. When it comes to busy time, they 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 concentrated. They they know what they're doing. 
You don't have to ask, please do this, please don't know, they come along. They look at you, they read you. And that's the best thing, when you don't have to speak, but it's, uh, it's you under their skin and they under your skin. So you don't talk, you just operate and they, they follow. It takes a bit of time because that means you've been working together. But it's, um, it's the best thing when you are into um, a place where it's more like uh, friends and family. And they are able to understand that when it's busy time, it's busy time. 100% concentration and fast. Steve calls out the tickets and they get it done as a as a team. Yes, that's what I mean. Like, good, good. Literally, I would love to be there. Literally, like literally, I would love to be there. I would love to be there. I guess this is different from you because you actually made it and met them and also today I heard that it's uh, four or five years that is streaming but uh, two and a half years from the the shack from uh, what you call it, from the um, from where he is now into that van is it possible to get attached to people that you have never met and talk in person but because you get to see them every morning and you get to share moments and laughs and their moments of the day is it possible to get attached that you actually can you actually get attached to people is he I was wondering yesterday like is it because I'm um, I'm going through this whole thing on my own here yeah, COVID bullshit and stuff like that and um I might be a little bit more needy than usual, like needy in company and friendship. Or it is normal to fall, um, how you call it, um, to gain, uh, how can I explain in a better way? Um, is it normal to get attached to people? I think that's the best thing I can call it. Is it normal to get attached? Like I, I feel like I'm attached to them. I can tell already when he's sad or when he has uh, things on his mind. Um, I guess it's a good thing. You can enjoy someone. You can enjoy someone as a f you interests. I agree because. Um, Steve is open and shows emotions. Yes. Yes. It was this morning? This morning was talking about just cook. Just cook. I have been in just cook. Already. Um, you can ask him. But I wasn't aware of the... I wasn't aware of the... What do you call that thing? The... Damn, what is my English? <sighs> I was not aware of um, the big storm, I forgot the name, that he completely burst um, Just Cook uh, business and boat and stuff. And he got emotion, emotional. He was about to cry, Steve, today. So when we raided and I saw that Steven wasn't, uh, wasn't, uh, was subscribed, I had to do it. I had to do, I had to thank him, I had to do something for him, and then I give another five subs because that guy, like me, needs help, not help, not because help, and he needs support. You do it to me, guys, Steve does to me, I do to others, that's it. Steve cares for the community and he wants to see the growth. Yes, I see, I see. He hardly ever spoke to me, and when he talks to me, he makes me feel like, fuck, I'm going to get a bloody, bloody flight, and I'm going to go there, I'm going to hug him, have one of uh, his short ribs and mac and cheese, uh, and, and I really want those, uh, that brisket and the chicken, I'll eat, I want everything. I just take the flight back and come back. Hi, Spice Man, how are you? 
5 p.m. 5, my bad, okay. Hi, man. How are you? Welcoming. We're just having a little talk. I've already... To be honest, I can't call this like a cooking show tonight. It was more like a talk show. He's, he's not selfish for himself. He wants to share the community and grow it. Yes. And I'm surprised. He only has 2,000 people following him. I was expecting to have thousands of them. Here I am. Welcome back. What happened? You already did all your job, uh, please all the thing. Just start, just chatting tonight. Yes, it's just chatting, really. One, I don't have anything in the fridge. Like, I went to the market today. And nothing was fresh. Like, I was so disappointed of the quality of the ingredients they have, uh, they had in there. Fish went fresh. The chicken, some of the chicken that I've seen, the skin start to... Start you start getting matte, right? Like, it was like matte. Not because they... You can tell. And I was so upset. Because if I'm... I'm under COVID. It, they are expensive. And I'm planning the week. Okay? So I know what I need to buy. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You know? But if I can do one shopping for two days. One shopping for the other two days. One shopping for Friday and Saturday, Saturday and Sunday. It will be the best. When I went to the market this morning, I was very upset. But Nova, if you don't find me, have a good day, brother. Padre Maro. Allora so, chi lo strunzi mi ha fatto girare i palla a me, se chi lo scherzi che mi ha fatto all'inizio, ma mi ha fatto zumbo genio. Ma che ci faccio che ci mi sta succedendo? Maybe they will try to sell worms, insects at the future form. Uh, my friend, uh, I've seen a few, a few people talking about it, and uh, they're full of protein at the end of the day. And uh, they're crunchy. Literally, there's nothing wrong with it. Are you doing those food streaming? Yes, I am. Not today. Usually I take Sunday, Monday off. But I had quite of a day today. And um, I had a problem at the beginning of this, uh, this um, I had a problem at the beginning of this uh, stream where somebody was spamming and uh, I didn't know what to do. So it put me a little bit off. Um, but yes, I'm usually making those sort of food and I was asking the guys today if they want to give me any heads up on things that they want to see cooked uh, more traditionally or something more um, fancy and gourmet you know things like this so they give me some good ideas and I'm gonna be off tomorrow I will be planning uh, shopping and then from Tuesday will find me doing all these things again where are you from anyway so I can uh, sort of uh, working out uh, the time managing the time or when you can actually be on like which side of the world are you from insects are quite good in fact yes they're very good and they are sorts of lot of protein uh, they're very easy to grow harvest like if we can say harvest I don't know, so manco non ho manco capito cosa stava accadendo stavo cucinando e la stream funzionava bene cosa ha combinato? quel coglione non ha fatto altro che fare host 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 e a me mi arrivavano tutti questi messaggi e non leggevo la chat e iniziava anche a bloccarsi streamlabs Comunque, quando vedi che qualcuno sta andando problemi in qualsiasi sorta, poi ci sono i mod, bandali. Eh, ma non potevo! Sia nella chat di qua, che sia nella chat di là, io non avevo, perché se vado su Streamlabs, c'è il timeout, c'è il ban, c'è fallo moderatore, ok? Non mi usciva, quando facevo host, 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 non mi usciva. E non c'era nemmeno nel cazzo di... 
Non c'era nemmeno nel cazzo di... Non c'era nemmeno nel, ne, ne, nella chat, capito? Non era nemmeno nella, nella lista dei cosi, capito? Perché non lo vedevo, diceva con me. Capito? Non c'era lì, ma compariva che lui faceva host on, host, host, host. Ciao Lorenzo, bentornato. Hai mangiato? Che hai mangiato? Lasagne, ah l'hai detto prima, hai ragione Spazman, thanks for the follow brother If you, if you have to give me one Italian recipe that I have to try, what would it be? Ok Are you vegetarian? Do you eat everything? Are you vegan? What are you? Because nowadays man Time out mandro Time out a Mondragone... No, non funge, non funziona. Ma non si fa così. No, ma ci vado io a fare il time out. Se vuoi ti faccio vedere. Ma ti faccio il time out a te, non ti muovere. Ma... Ah, tu sei un mio mod. Uh, Lorenzo, ti faccio un time out di due secondi. Ok? Ti faccio un, un time out di due secondi, scusami. Oh, shit, dieci minuti l'ha fatto sto time out. Sorry, Lollo. Come faccio a togliere sto time out, mo? Minchia, sono un coglione. Scusami, Lollo. Scusami, Lore. So, I eat everything and I'm a Matteo Cooker. Ok, so I am from southern in Italy. I am from the southern part of Italy. And there we have loads of food. Now, if you want to eat something traditional and tasty and smart cooking like I call for my mother, on a Sunday she makes the rahu. Ok? Which is a slow cooked tomato sauce with some parts of the beef inside. And it's cooked from the side. My mom usually cooks at 6 o'clock in the afternoon on Saturday night. It takes up to 10 o'clock at night time. Then she takes it off the fire. She cools it down. When she goes to sleep, she puts it in the fridge. The next day, she pulls it out at 6 o'clock in the morning when she wakes up. And she starts cooking. And when I'm saying cooking, she has the flame down low, but down low underneath. That is looking, literally is doing plof, 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 plof. And she doesn't touch the meat because she doesn't want to fall apart. So literally, it's so tasty and the meat is so tender that you have no idea. So what she does, she takes the sauce with it and she makes uh, this big, big uh, penne, okay? Uh, or the pakeri. And that's what we eat. Lots of parmesan or pecorino. Black pepper, olive oil. Simple. All the ragu, yes. No, sono io che ti ho buttato fuori, Lorenzo. Sono io che ti ho fatto il time out. Scusami. Non l'ho fatto apposta. Cioè, pensavo fosse 10 secondi, qualcosa del genere. Sospensione annullata, grazie padre Madò. Ah, ricliccando si può togliere, non lo sapevo. Come sono, sono rimasto con mio cazzo. All day ragù, yes. I will do it. Like next Sunday, I, Sunday is my day off. I don't want to do those things on Sunday because I want to be easy. Uh, i write down in the notes. I see if I can find any knees or any balls to do the row. Stai tranquillo, no problem. È stato divertente. Per te? Io mi sono sentito una merda. Ho detto, guarda che cazzo ho fatto. Oh, my business card, bad nova. You see, they're shiny. The chef, it's shiny. Can you tell? Chef Maurizio, do you want to share your mom's recipe? But Nova, I'm making it next week. I swear to God, I'm making it next week. So you have a video. Because my mom, when she cooks, she doesn't give a shit about rules. 
she put everything together. My mum does the bolognese. You know the bolognese. Everybody knows how to do it. Ah, no, no, no. She does that way. She's there browning the meat. She puts the stuff in. Then she gets the knife in her hand. Like this. And she starts cutting the onion like this. You know. And she just mixes it through. And the result. The, 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 the end. It is something that gets uh, out of my mind. I don't understand why. Why is so tasty? No idea. I'm going to replicate. Forget that I'm a chef and there is a sort of rules. I am going to cook like she does. Because it's funny, the outcome. You still have the little onion. I don't know how to explain. It's, it's totally different. I'll show you. I will do. Lolo is now hosting you. Grazie, Lolo. Che belle ste facce. Awesome. Yep, old school uh, measuring. Yes, she does like this. Like, literally, she doesn't care. She knows when to stop. But that's with everything. When my mom does carbonara, yeah, everybody is all this big fuss about carbonara, uh, uh, guanciale, no onion. My mother doesn't give a shit. My mom gets the onion, fries the onion with the pancetta. Onion and pancetta. She puts the pasta in, she makes it through, she puts the eggs that she pre-mixed with parmesan and pepper, and she fully, fully cooked the egg. She doesn't give a shit. That's how she brought me up, with the fully cooked scrambled egg in the carbonara. And I'm sorry, it is tasty. K-gasm. Oh, you had an, an, an orgasm on the thing. Prova, prova, fa quello che vuoi tu, sei a casa tua. She makes me laugh, man. She doesn't give a shit. And people come back to it. Like, I need to find... I need to find the pastas as well. I need to find good paccheri. 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 I need to find some... Uh, I need to find some pappardelle. Pa pardelle. I need to find all these things. Okay, sono riuscito. A fare cosa? Simply 14 gasmic. Te lo stava a scrivere i pappardelle, incredibile. Eh, voglio perché ci vanno, come ci vanno i pappardelle. E se riuscissi a trovare pure il reginelle, non te la facessi una reginelle pomodorina e ricotta, però la ricotta te la faccio al forno. Prendo la ricotta, la schiatto, limo, eh, limone, eh, olio d'oliva buono, un po' di sale, pepe, un poco di finocchietto, ma poco, però il finocchietto lo faccio arrostire in padella, poi me lo schiaccio per bene e glielo metto sopra a polvere. Nel forno, 180 per 9 minuti, 10 minuti, esce fuori tutta la rusca della sotto, tutta la rusca della cop, che quando tu vai a mescare con, peperoncino, con, con il pomodorino e con la pasta, non si fa che la che la maniocca pesante, che è buon mucca. No, siccome poi si fa secca eh, e tenuto sapore e te esce un po' ro, 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 funucchiello che non capisci, ma come però si abbina bene con il pomodorino. È una cosa esagerata, perché non si fa che la malloppa, che lo malloppa, capito? Rimane distinta, capito? Ma ce la fa. Io ce la parla, io ce la fa sti cose. Vado ora che esco con gli amici. Ciao Lollo, Lollo, mi piace come entri, ti cambi le scarpe e poi te ne vai nato a vuoto. <ride> Grazie comunque, sei grande. E scusami di nuovo per mandarti... per averti fatto il time out. But no, I'll translate that for you in English. I was talking to Madre Madonna. Uh, we have good ricotta in Italy. Eh? We got ricotta di fruscelle, which is uh, the slightly more creamy one, creamier one, ok? So my mom has reginelle pasta. You see the lasagna that you send me in my picture? Those are big ones with the edges, you know, with the crown edges. We have the reginelle, which is very thin pasta, like, um, like a tagliatella, but has the same edges, okay? So they have the same edges. So my mom makes a good uh, tomato sauce with the little cherry tomatoes, yeah? And then my mom... She puts the ricotta in, she mix through, salt, pepper, she put the pasta in, and you eat it. But he, 
it comes out quite um, quite heavy because the ricotta the sauce gets very heavy and after two three spoons it's um, it gets you tired of you know the taste it's um, it doesn't renew in your mouth right so what I will do I will uh, tweak it like the tomato sauce I'll do my way so my, my, my mother's way but I'm gonna get the ricotta I'm gonna shred it on a, on a tray I'm gonna put olive oil a little salt pepper and I'm gonna pre roast some fennel seeds not much just like 10 of them I'm gonna roast them in a pan cool them down grind them and then just spread on top of it put it into the oven 180 for 8, 9, 10 minutes, depends when it starts to get all the, the edges a little bit burnt. Then I release that out and then I mix that through um, towards the end. So that doesn't become sloppy, it doesn't become um, one whole thing, but you have all these bits around. And while you have it, the sweetness from the cherry tomato, and because the pasta edges, it will, um, it will actually grab all the sauces around it. And then you have the little fennel coming through. they just magic. That's what, uh, that's what I need to do. Reginelle. Reginelle. Ricotta. E pachino. Yes, but you... The way my mom does, she put the ricotta and through, 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 parmesan, through, 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 and then she put in the plate, manja. You know, you, you, you lost weight, manja. No way. Chi povero pescatore e chi ricci marinare, ricca marinare. Anyway, guys, it's 11 o'clock at night time. I have a long day tomorrow. I got it, l'avvocato, no? Ma io come voglio bene, Ernesto, comunque. Big up for the chef, mom, mom. Man, my mom is a truly chef. My, my grandma, that was, uh, that was the gem. My grandma couldn't even move. My grandma was always sat in the corner of the big, uh, of the big um, tables, in the corner, not here, no here, in the corner, so she could see in both room or the other side, because the mirror. She would sit there, big pot, Always chopping onion, or doing something, or mixing. That's all the the amacords that I have of from him. All the all the things that she reminds. Anyway, Banova, uh, Padre Madonna, um, Mandraga, cook, cook and control. Yes, man, cook, cook and control, man. And she always had the, the cucciarella ready. Boom, boom. Sempre. So what you say, Gabriga? I'm not going to go. 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 But thank you for being here again. Thanks for the support, the chat, and everything. Yeah? I will never stop thanking you. And so you, Padre Madonna. And so Mandrago and everyone else who has been here. Um... I thought, um, I think I just wanted a little bit of company, really. That's what I think it was. Bye, all, guys. Ciao. Yeah, I think I would, I just wanted some company, that's all. Anyway, last time. Won't do this again. Ciao, guys. We are social beings. I know, I know. Especially me. I used to work with 16, 17 chefs, uh, 6, 7 washing ups and 3, 4 pizza chefs. <laughs> now on my own. Every single day. Anyway. Time goes. Things get fixed. Ciao, ciao. Again, thank you. At least I have something to plan now. I'm going to sit down, break down the recipes, all the ingredients, split the days, and I know what to do. Beautiful. I have something to do.
Ciao, grazie, thanks again. Ciao, ma te malo, a fresco, rimala. Un bacione, ciao ciao. Why do you stop this thing? Ah, oh, here. Yeah.